uh, the dojo in Denton. Uh, and we are here on behalf of uh, uh, Jack Sensei. Um, and where we're going to be working today is Omote, the, the, fir the very few three uh, uh, techniques of the Omote Kata. Uh, the Omote Kata is the beginner's set for uh, Muso Shindo Ryu Jodo. Uh, so we're going to start easy. Uh, the plan for today uh, it's the first three katas. So we're going to start with uh, uh, Tachi Otoshi. Uh, then we're going to spend a little bit more time on the second one, which is Subawari. And then the last one is Eskisue, uh, which probably you are uh, a little bit more familiar with. Uh, so I think uh, um, uh, it's uh, anybody not familiar with uh, Omote? Have you guys ever or never practiced Omote before? Just don't be shy. Okay, that's good. We're gonna start nice and easy. Uh, okay, let's let's uh, say so. Mukso. Mukso yame. Shomeni. Right? Otagani. Right? Okay, let's let's stand up. Um, also, I uh, uh, I was told that there may be some interest in the, make an emphasis on the uh, sore part, on the um, uh, Balkan part. So when the time comes, please raise uh, raise your hand, and uh, we'll make sure that uh, uh, you get as much uh, of the uh, Balkan uh, uh, as as possible. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's demonstrate the first one, uh, Brian. Touch your touch. Get one of these things. Touch your touch, joy. Hajime. Hey. Oh. Hey. Okay, so um, has anybody done the uh, sword part for this kata? Can I ask you guys to grab a bokuto? Um, okay, make sure that you grab a partner. Just so we got two, 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 two. Um, Brian, I think you're going to have to be uh, uh, Bokuch as well. Oh, okay. They haven't done a uh, Jodo as well. None of you have done a uh, uh, Tachotosh. Okay, then we're gonna have to do it by the numbers. Let's grab a joke, please. Sorry. All of us? All of us, yes. All of us. Okay. 
So we're gonna do it quite a few times. You just follow, we're gonna do it, uh, let's say, by the numbers. So we're gonna be facing this way. So, um, so the swordman is gonna come back, uh, so he's gonna come uh, attacking. Let's stagger everybody. Yeah, yeah, please stagger. Uh, every other, please take a step forward. Okay, so as the sword comes, uh, what you guys going to do, you're going to grab the jaw with the right, uh, sorry, with the left hand, and then you're going to pair, okay. Uh, uh, the guy with the sword is going to pair up, and then what you're going to do, you're going to strike, uh, well, you're going to step to the right, sorry, to the left, pull the jaw, keep this grip, in Yakute, and then you're gonna strike to the temple. He's gonna protect with uh, uh, the suba, and then uh, he's gonna try to strike on the on the on your right side. And what you're gonna do? You're gonna present the shield. Then you're gonna lift the tip to catch the sword. Then you're gonna do this trap. He's gonna start walking back, and then you're gonna push with the bottom hand into this motion. Then you're gonna do a ski. Then you're gonna pull back into Hikyotosh, and then strike. Okay, then he's gonna surrender, and then we're gonna do the put away. The put away is one, two, then you're gonna change hands at the bottom, the top, then hands together on the side and relax. Then he's gonna walk back and then we're gonna walk back. Okay, again, um, the guy with the sword comes, you grab the tip, you match the sword, okay? Then you get ready with the strike. Step to the left and pull. This stays in Yakute. And then strike to the temple. Then you're gonna do a shield with your arms and the jaw. And then lift the tip. Okay. Then you're gonna do this motion. He's gonna step back and as he steps back, you do this and you trust, then pull back into Hikyotosh and strike to the face, just keep the tip eye level. He surrenders and then put away one, two, change the hand at the, at the bottom and then hands together on the side, relax, he steps back, you step back. Um, let's do the jaw all together and then we do the sword all together and then we try to, to pair up. Okay, once more. Uh, the sword comes, grab the tip, pair up, then step to the side and draw, strike to the temple, then put a shield in front of you, raise the tip, take a step, a big circle, okay? He steps back and then leave the tip, then trust, then draw back into Hikyotosh, okay? And then strike and step. Okay, now put away with one, two, chain hand at the bottom from this position to this, and then step hands together on the side, then open your chest, relax to the beginning position, and then he steps back, we step back. Okay, one last time. I'm gonna do it from the other side. Can you, can you and Nidia please be at the front? 
uh, d this side, uh, Ryan. Okay, uh, fa facing this way, Brian, so they can follow you. I, I just want to see what they're doing. Okay, so we're going to start uh, touch your toes, Joy, Hajime, the sword comes, grab the tip, and uh, pair up. Good. There you go, yeah, that equity is important. Okay, now you're going to step and draw to the right. There you go, then strike to the temple. Okay, then remember, push with the right hand and put a shield in front of you. Use the jaw as a shield. There you go. Okay, now one detail. Um, uh, first is the shield, then lift. It's two different motions, okay? First the shield, then this. Okay, now step forward, big circle, there you go, that big circle. Okay, he's gonna step back and then push your left hand, like if you wanna punch him and let the tip of the jaw fall on the other side, then thrust, okay, then pull back into Hikatosh, okay, and strike. Okay, now put away. One, two, three hands together on the side. Okay, relax, open your chest. He walks back, you walk back. Okay, all right. Now, um, let's grab it. Yeah, but uh, the people that has uh, the Vulcan. Let's rotate. Okay, let's do a rotation. Okay, so who's comfortable on Joe or fairly comfortable with, uh, sorry, with the Bokuto? Can you please grab Bokuto? Yeah. Brian, you're going to have to help us as well with the, with the Bokuto. <laughs> Through on the Joe side, maybe next time too. Well, yeah. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I think we are pair up. Okay, so we're gonna do this uh, slow. Okay, we're gonna start from here. Uh, the guys with the uh, Bokuto put it at the obi level, and uh, the guys with the Joe right hand and as we bow just do this um please be kind all right so guys with the walk on the left and when i said uh tashi otosh joy uh the sword is gonna present and then both hands on the sword then we're gonna go to hasso and then it all starts. So we're gonna take uh, one, two, three, we present, and then you guys hand at the front and match the jaw. Oh, sorry, match with the jaw, okay? Now, uh, you guys are gonna walk to the right, draw the jaw, and then a strike to the temple, just like before. <laughs> the temple and then guys with the bokuto protect yourself okay tip tip is up 45 degree tip is up uh, 45 45 degrees in front of your temple i mean you are receiving the uh, the bokuto with this angle so it's actually going to be catched by the suga here okay there you go all right, so now there's an opening there. The guy with the jaw is gonna cut there. So you gotta do that shield. There you go. All right, and the hands go down, then the tip goes to, goes up. Okay, very good. And then you catch with your hands. 
Okay, good. The next step, uh, you're gonna follow this motion, big circle, to this. Okay, good. You need to try to trap uh, my hands on the suba. That's very good. Then the swordman uh, walks out to the front of the jaw. Okay, now you're gonna pull the jaw to the back. Okay, uh, the other way, the other way. Oh. Yeah, the other way. There you go. Uh, okay. So this, mo uh, this motion is like this. Okay. So after we're here, there you go. And then you're gonna do a ski, a thrust, then pull back into Hikyotosh. Switch feet. There you go. And strike to the temple. Yeah, just strike to the temple. There you go. Good. Okay. Now, uh, the guy with the sword had enough. He surrenders. And now you guys are going to do the put away. Sword don't move. Put away one, two, then three. And at this point, the sword just fit even. Even your feet. Okay. The guy would just uh, relax. And then you take two steps and then they go back. Okay. Again. Touch your touch. Joy. Hajime. Pair. Good. All right. All right. Now step to your right, pull the, the jaw and strike to the temple. Swore uh, protect themselves. There you go. Now the the sword is going to be on the left to attack. Do the shield. Yes, there you go. Lift the tip, that's good. All right, now you got to follow this big motion with a big circular motion. Okay, then the sword goes out. And then uh, the circular motion, there you go. Good. The other side. Yeah. There you go, like that. Good. And then cross to the solar plexus again. Draw back into Hikyotosh. Okay. And then strike to the temple. Okay. Now uh, put away one. Two, three, fit even for the swordman now. They relax, and now we go back. One, two, and then go back. Okay, once more, once more. We're almost there, okay? Touch your touch. Joy. Hajime. Okay, so step to the right and draw, Str strike to the temple, the sword catches the strike, then the sword goes on the left, you put a shield in front of you, and then raise the tip. There you go. All right, now follow the big motion. Good. The sword stays back and out. Big circle with the jaw. Trust with the jaw. Okay. 
pull back into Hikyotosh and strike to the temple. Okay. Uh, put away one, put away two, put away three, fit even for the swordman, fit even. Okay, and then they relax, we go back one, two, they go back. Okay, um, just a few pointers, uh, Brian, please. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about what's, what's going on here, and, and uh, uh, sorry to put you on the spot so quick, but uh, we, we're going to try to explain what's going on here. Okay, so he's in a, a, a basic position, he's waiting for my attack. Oh, so even here, my Joe is pointed towards the opponent, it's not wandering off. You want Zanshin even in this position, you're ready. Yeah. This is, uh, he can feel this, if, yeah. if you're off here, there's not much threat right from the game, yeah. but even from here you're ready. Okay, then when I call the, the, the kata, Tachiotos Choi, every, uh, the sword gets ready for it. And the way the sword do it is uh, uh, there's this pressure on, on the opponent. The tip is pretty much at his uh, chest level. The next step is under the jaw. There's still a forward motion, right? You want to you wanna keep, keep pressure on him. And then the command comes Hajime to start. And then I start approaching, one, two. When I react is when the step right before he can cut me. That's how I know it's time yeah. for me yeah. can, to react. Can, can you hold on? If he doesn't move, uh, he, if he doesn't do anything, this is my next motion, right? But right as I began doing that, he starts moving. And that gives me the signal that whatever I'm planning to do is not going to work anymore. He's too far away, so I change my tactics. I say, okay, let's just pair off. Straight up and down, not to the side, but keep it. And as the Joe side, you, you want the mana uch, you want to keep this right. Yeah. Not here, because now he's got an advantage. Here, it's too far. But right here, yeah. you're using the length of your jaw to your advantage. Yeah, and now this position is both the tip of the sword and the tip of the jaw need to be eye level. Imagine that you're trying to block the other guy's view. Uh, you want to use that as a general advantage. And also, it's more or less one fist away from the tip. That's the point of contact. So you gotta, you gotta try to get that, uh, that point of contact, you know. Um, all right, so this is, uh, at this point, uh, the match is even, you know. Nobody has an advantage. Now, the Joe decides that he has an opportunity to strike my head. You know? What I want to try to do is try to keep level. I don't want to telegraph this move by going, <sighs> you know, and dropping. So I want to make this a subtle step. Almost forward and to the side, not so much like this, like you can see I'm coming. It's almost, my upper body is almost staying upright so not to telegraph too much. And when I pull back, it's still a threat to his face. I'm not going here to cut. So even though I step across, I'm still projecting this Joe towards his face. Step over, strike. Okay, now uh, the guys with a Boken, uh, be ready to receive the strike. It's in front of you, it's 45 degree, there's an angle that if he strikes here, that's going to slide and stop in the suba. If the sword is too vertical, then it's going to slide down the suba and hit you on your arms or whatever. You know, so there's that. It's not horizontal. That's a different technique. It's just to receive the, the strike. Uh, and guys, with the, with the jaw, uh, what you're trying to hit is the temple. So make sure that uh, you are not too far away. If I don't leave the sword, don't do it, please, but you're supposed to be at this distance and probably a little bit even farther my tempo, you know, so at this point I see an opening, so the swordman is going to go together with the feet, don't move, don't move, don't move. What he's going to try to do is this, right? That's a good target. 
Remember what I say about putting a, a shield? Okay, so look what happens with the shield. If he only does the shield, he's still covered, right? It just happens that besides doing the shield, he's gonna lift the tip. And now I have a problem. I have this in front of me. So the cut goes away. I need to protect myself. And that's when I think about moving back so and yeah, keep following. pressure towards his face. Right. If I can. That's what Not makes here, me. But you're always trying to keep that pressure towards the opponent. That's what makes me want to walk back. Now here, this, this trap is kind of tough. You really need to almost use your, your hip socket and dig it in there. And this back leg needs to be turned. If it's like this, then you really can't get that forward pressure too much. But if this is turned here and lock it into your hips and roll your wrist a little bit, you could even knock him off his balance if you need to. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing, uh, the sword goes, I can't stay here too long. If he keeps pushing that direction, just like Aikido, you know, that's very, that's very dangerous. I don't like it. So I gotta get out. I turn to face him, and at that point, he uh, goes around and with again, the tip. I don't go to the side. Everything is keeping the distance. The only thing saving you, you got a stick, he's got a sword. The only thing saving you is the distance, that yours is a little longer. And you always want to keep that between your opponent. So when I, even when I'm going up, it's here. Boom. Okay. I know what's coming. I don't want to stay here, so I take a step back. And at that, at that point, he makes a thrust. If I time it just right, I can time it right when that back leg comes down, right when he's shifting his weight, and you can get a, you can send him backwards. It's a lot more easy that way. Okay. And then he's gonna pull and do a hikiotosh. Elbows in, not flared out. Okay. And at that point, I don't have an option except take another step back. And by that time, hopefully the sword guy realizes that there's no uh, match here. I'd rather go home we and live go another the day. Die. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna relax, show that I'm a uh, surrender. Uh, the way to do that is the way I grab the sword. Uh, as long as the swordman has a tight grip on the sword, it means that the sword is alive, it can't cut, it can't, uh, it can't uh, trust, you know, so if I relax this hand a little bit, the tip goes down, um, that gives the signal that I'm probably not going to go for another cut, I'm probably out of the fight. So uh, now the put away comes, that's one. Still, you, there should be almost a forward pressure to feel like this could thrust at any moment, even during the put away. Like this engagement is not over yet. Two, three, now he changed that hand at the bottom. Okay, four, and at this point, I wanna keep distance, fit even, slow motion. Uh, once you surrender, there's no sudden movements. Uh, uh, and then, uh, I walk back one, two, and at that point he moves back and we all go back to the starting position. You're giving him an out, a way to save face, but you're still not laying down your guard. So even when you put it away, you're not like this with them. It's here and you're ready. Yeah. It's just at your side pointing towards him and then he backs up okay. and then that's your cue. Let's try one, one more time, Brian, please. Okay. Touch your toes, Joy. Hasso. Hajime. Hey. Any questions? Many? 
one, one thing I notice uh, when I look around is when you're pulling back to this, a lot of you are ending up with this hand on top. So one, one reason we think of this, we call it a bag almost. You pull it back and now this is a neutral spot for the Joe. From this position, you can go here or you can go here. So I notice a lot of people are spinning over and they're, they're ending up here, but you really want to end up here. So the way to do that is to keep it Now you have the option to thrust with hand on top. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. Uh, and uh, at that point, we probably got to move to the next one. So let's pair off again. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to switch partners. The way we're going to do it, please uh, move one position to the left, the last guy goes to the beginning. So we try this with different partners. Uh, Joe, Ipo, Migi. Yes, please. Hajime. Yeah, okay, we match. Now draw and strike. Now follow me down to eye level. Okay, now draw. And strike, take a step to the right and strike to the temple. Okay. The Joe catches, you gotta be closer. There you go. Good. All right. Okay. Now uh, put a shield in front of you as the sword cuts to the left. This, then lift the tip. There you go. Now follow this motion. Good. Now step back. The tip goes around and get ready for the thrust. Thrust. Okay. Pull back into Hikyotosh. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Very good. And big strike to the temple. There you go. Good. No. Put away. One, two, three, change that hand, four, feet together, hands together, relax, and now stay back, one, two, now you stay back, one, two, three, four, okay, all right, once more, uh, Joe Ipo Migi, please uh, rotate, Okay. Touch your toes, Joy. Hajime. Fair up. There you go. All right. Now, step, draw. Draw at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, pull that back and strike to the temple. There you go. Now the strike is from from above, it's overhead. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so make a shield. There you go. Catch with the tip, then follow this motion. Good. Yeah. It's big motion, there you go, good. All right, I get out, that tip goes around. Trust. Pull back into Higatosh. Higatosh is just like that. Just that. Just this. Okay. And what you want to strike is a big overhead strike. And step. There you go. Eye level. Eye level. Yeah. Now, put away is one. Two. Three. Fit even. There you go. Now open the chest, relax, and I walk back. One, two, now you go back. There you go. Okay, so let's pretend we went through the whole kata, the last strike, we are here, okay? If the tip needs to be eye level, okay? Now, just one note, for those Aik Aikido guys, it's not in front of you, actually that this hand, yes, is in front of your 
center, but because the standing is a little bit to the side, then that moves to the side. And what that allows you is as you pull, you are not hitting yourself, right? You, it's a very natural pull to the side, right? Then uh, this tip, this hand drops into your leg and that leaves the other shoulder naturally 45 degrees, sorry, 90 degrees from the ground. No, 90 degrees from your body, parallel with the ground. Sorry about that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you, you gotta find that sweet spot. It's not here. It's not here. It's see if you can find um, that uh, arm parallel to the ground. That's good. Then we're gonna change the bottom hand. You know, we end up like this, we go to this, okay, and that's a distinctive move. And then we're gonna go feet even at the same time that we slice our hand, both hands, to the center of the jaw and to the side, right? So it's a little bit of a tricky motion, but it's not that hard to do once you get the principle. Both hands move together at the same time they arrive from each opposite side of the jaw to the center right and then we relax he steps back we step back okay very quickly again put away the guy surrenders we do the put away one, drop the hand into your leg, two, not this, there you go, more horizontal, there you go, more horizontal, okay, then we go hands to the center, relax and open the chest, he walks back, we walk back. All right, I'll speed. Okay. Subawari. Joy? Hajime. Hey? Hey? Okay, uh, let's do it again. Subawari Joy Hajime Hey, hey. Okay, um, let's try the sore part first, sorry, the jaw part first. Yeah. By the numbers. Okay, so this one has a different beginning. When I call the technique, Subawari joy, that means the jaw needs to go into position and the sword needs to go into position. And what the uh, jaw is gonna do is, uh, can... So even here, 
I'm still keeping that uh, concept of focusing on your opponent, even getting into the stance. You don't just want to go. So even here, you know, keeping it between us, then I get in my Kamai. But here it should be, if you let go of this bottom hand, it shouldn't be supporting it. This should be straight down, elbow back, shoulder blades pulled back. You see, this is also a shield uh, that has many, many uses. The jaw is vertical. I can almost let it go with that hand and it's still gonna be there. Uh, this knee is bent. That leg, leg is straight. Uh, there's the uh, impression that this shield can even protect you from arrows coming. You're in a battlefield, you know. So imagine that's a shield that protects anything from your face to your knee. So it covers a big portion of your body. So you want to have that in front of you, vertical. Yeah. And you know, if, if things come your way, you can deflect. So it's truly a shield. Okay. All right. So the way we're gonna get into that, we're gonna grab at the center. We're gonna slide the hand to the back. Then we're gonna lift and let the other tip drop vertically somewhere in front of your knee and just barely grab it with the bottom hand okay left knee is bended right knee right leg is extended your left eye should almost not be able to see yeah when you're really looking with your right eye yeah. so imagine there's an arrow it's not over two it's not here if you're pulling back far enough it's gonna Almost be right in front of your left eye. Yeah. So imagine there's an arrow or a sword coming your way and you have to deflect it with that jaw in front of you. Okay. So that's uh, going into position. Then the guy comes, he's going to try to cut, and what you're going to do, you're going to take a step back, go around with the jaw, and strike to his wrist. There you go. Okay. Then uh, he's gonna get to, he's gonna try to come around and cut you, and what you're gonna do? Cut your arms, sorry, your uh, wrist. And what you're gonna do? You're gonna do fit even. Try to put that tip into his belly. You gotta get a strong position, so you gotta go down. There's a lot of pressure into the lower body that prevents for him to continue. He knows he can fight that he can overrun you okay all right so now he sees another target and he's going to try to attack this side again okay this is a tricky part and this is what you're going to do you're going to take this knee right behind this fit and at the same time you're going to raise your arms to present another shield there you go try to get your knee as close to your the ball of your feet the knee to the ball of the feet there you go good so that's gonna that presents another shield and uh, as he strikes he realized that doesn't work so he's gonna walk away and what you're gonna do you're gonna follow by standing up and do it a big circular motion with the jaw into this position okay he gonna walk back you gotta be ready to trust then like the other one you're gonna go back into hikyotosh make sure you change your hand to this and then you're gonna strike and then they put away one two Okay, chain the hands at the bottom. <coughs> hands together, feet together. Open your chest, relax. Walk back. One, two, three, four. Okay, again, from the beginning. Subai Wari. We go. Hands together. Reach for the Joe. Okay, vertical Joe. The sword comes. Feet together. 
big motion, big strike, and right leg back. There you go. Now, he tries to cut again. You move to the side, lower stand, tip to the belly. Okay, he's gonna try to strike again. Lower your knee to the ball of the tip. Don't change the grip, just leave the jaw. The tip is gonna catch the sword. Okay, he's gonna strike again, but he needs to pull back. Then you follow that motion. Okay, and then as he walks back, you give a thrust back into Hikyotosh. Strike, then put away one, two, three, change your hand, four hands together, feet together, open your chest, he walks away, you walk away. Brian, let's uh, demonstrate once more. I, I do. Right now. The numbers? Uh, yeah, just slow. Subawari. Joy. When I call it technique joy, the jaw goes to position first, then the Vulcan goes into position. And then we all wait for the command Hajime, and then the source attacks. One, two, three, four, just whatever the distance is for actually cutting. This is not a vertical cut, this is a Kesa cut. So there's this vertical, don't move. There's this verticality, right? The Joe is in front of him, so no point in going here, right? So, right, it's to the side. Okay, now he's gonna do the motion that we described first. You have to wait till he's committed. There's no reason in me moving too early where he can track me and then cut me from there. So you have to wait until he's committed to that swing before you step back. And then he strikes, right? Then the uh, Joe guy is gonna try to move that Joe away, right? Because that allows me to go for him. But what's gonna happen is that he's gonna move to the side that didn't work, right? You gotta be ready for this, right? I realize that that's not gonna work. I cannot overpower him. So, but I see this nice target down there. And I know I still can go around the jaw once again. So what I'm gonna do is try to cut his leg. Um, by taking away his knee, Next to his uh, ball of the right foot, he effectively clears the leg. Now, uh, during this swing, I'm trying to track his arm also and follow it, ready for that down yeah. swing. And then as I go down, you gotta trust yourself, that's gonna work. Okay. One little trick from here, because this is hard to think about getting up from this position and lifting a person's arm. If he starts pulling back, then you follow it because he realizes he's not in a good situation, so he's gonna start pulling back and cutting for another target. So at that point, you can either follow it, or if he's standing there and you really, you have to move him, one way to do that is pull him forward a little bit. See how I just affected his balance? Using my whole body, boom. Not going like this, but actually leaning back a little bit. I drew him forward a little bit. Now I can do that easier. Okay. Can you go back? Okay, one note. Just make sure that the tip is, there's an angle going up, never, never let the tip go down because at this point, there's no, there's no uh, lever. You know, you're pretty much done. So remember to keep that tip up. I know that's not gonna work, but I see a nice target on the other side. So I'm trying to go for it, but it's just like Aikido, he follows. This starts to look familiar to the other techniques. It's just on the other side. I go back, uh, even, I think I have something, but then I see this in front of me and I know what he's gonna do, so I have to step back. Right, and then I see him going into Hikyotosh, just like the other techniques. 
and I know what's going to happen. So you just got to go back. Then I say, okay, he's good, put away. Fit even, that means I'm not going to fight you, I'm done. Have a good day, sir. Okay. With now, the on the ski, is, uh, try not to make it uh, too much of an arm, like your and your head's going forward because you know what's going to happen. Okay. So try to make it, keep your posture straight. You can use a little bit of arm, but try to use your structure to push on the ski, not so much. So, um, let's show one more, and then we're going to try. This is the hardest, probably the hardest kata of uh, today for sure so just just be aware else let's demonstrate one more and then you guys are going to try it's fun don't hey 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 oh hey oh Okay, here I'm too close. I'm not gonna surrender here. I just, I just, as a swordman, I feel uncomfortable. So it's okay. Never do sudden motions, but it's okay to disengage a little bit. And that's why I waited a little bit before I put away. No. So he was still in range to. The surrender, effectively, as like I said, like I said before, you gotta relax this left uh, hand. The tip goes down. And then when he steps fit together, I match that fit together. And then I walk back first. One, two, and now he can walk. Can we show them what happens from here if you do try to attack? Because this seems like a weird, like why would you do this? Yeah, it doesn't oh. seem that way. But let's see if you okay. come to a case of what, what's open okay. right now. It's almost like you're tempted. Let's. So if I do here, and now he decides, I think I can cut his neck. Boom. So what this does is here, and that's in one of the kata also, you see. This is a defense yeah. that sweeps right across. Yeah, it's once again, we talk about that concept of a shield. In this position, the shield is ready. It's not in position, but it's ready. It could be there at any time. It can actually deflect the sword. And then it's a nice position to counter strike. You know, so it's, it's an invitation for him to do something silly and then show him who who is actually in control. Okay. Questions? Let's try. Let's try. I know I know it uh, um, we done the numbers. Um, Joey Pomigi. Subawari. Joy? Now the sword goes into Hassan. Hajime. Okay. Fit even. Big strike. Too early. To the hands. The hands. Big strike. Yeah. There you go. All right. Now move to the right. Lower the stance. Okay. The swords try to cut your leg. You go down on your knee. Trap the sword. Then he tries to cut again. Follow the sword. Stand up. Okay. He gets out. You trust. Then pull back. Big overhead and step. Okay. Put away one, two, chin hand, feet together, relax, open the chest, he goes back, one, two, you go back, one, two, good. The, the Joe part or the either, either one? The yeah, okay. Well, um, normally you retreat with left hand, sorry, left foot first. Okay. In, in both for Joe and the uh, Bokuten and the Boken. 
Um, Only because if you step back with the right, it's almost seen like you could come forward again if you're the swordsman. It just makes it, it's just another sign that you're giving in. This is harder to make a cut from if you're stepping back on the left foot. And then you could, you yeah. see, all of it is just about you're giving the attention that you don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, if you're retreating, it's always this. You never do this. Because that means that you can come back at any moment. So, it's always like that. We'll, we'll show in the next uh, in the next kata. The, the, the second motion of the sword after I make the first cut, I've been attacked before the Joe is moving to square up on me. What what am, what's my intention? What am I doing? Right. Okay. I'm not sure, I understand. We're, we, yeah. On a, on a, yes. Sure. We didn't get into into the details, but we should. Let's let's start let's start from from the beginning. Subawari Joy. Hajime. Hey. Hey. Okay. So, what I want to do here is to try to go uh, to take away the Joe. I'm grabbing the Joe here. I think I can do this and then cut. Okay. So, what I'm doing from here is I'm going to the front. You see that motion with my hands? Mm -hmm. You see this position of the hand? This is to allow me to do this. And I see him moving this direction and, this. and squaring up. And I'm going to square up with that. So as soon as so, I feel that mo motion of his hips moving, I'm going to follow it and keep this between us. That's, that's the idea is to keep the stick between you and the opponent. Okay. Yeah. So that, you see, okay. that's what it does. If, if there's no pressure there, if he doesn't... If I don't square up. And even if he squares up, but he doesn't push the pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So you're pushing back into the yes. job with the jug. But neutral yeah. pressure. Um, I'm, I'm making a wall, but I'm not <coughs> pushing where he would feel that. And because then I can. It's like Aikido. You know, once you start to. So you're putting up a wall. A wall. Okay. Once you start introducing a vector, somebody's going to follow and then somebody's going to. Okay. It's the so. same thing with the ski too. When I know some people going like this with the ski, you know, you're asking for it, you know, as yeah. opposed to using your stance. Okay. So, so just to complete uh, the explanation, I know it's a very, so we understand what happened here, right? right? I cannot do that. There's an opening there. I go for the leg. At the same time, I'm tracking his arm as I'm going down. Boom. Now I don't okay. have. I don't want to follow it in, until my structure falls apart. Once my, if he goes too far, I'm just going to make that shield and keep it yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. There's actually an extra movement here, and is that the sword? Uh, we're probably too far away. The sword changes to try to do this. It doesn't work, right? That's because his tip is has a, this upward direction. If the tip is lower, right? But the sword actually, after this motion, he tries to do this. That doesn't work. He sees the other opening. As long as he follows, that's not going to work. Did you feel this? Can you feel that kind of pressure? That's, this is a hard pin to do if you're not twisting into it and putting your hips in, forward into it. Yeah. So then I got to get out. And then he trusts. Right? And then I know what's coming. I don't have time to, to, to race and cut. With this ski, and I think I said before, I mentioned if he just backs up, there's no reason for me to push him out of the way. What you're trying to do is create space for the big head. So if he steps off the sword and, and steps back, I'm not gonna chase him. I'm gonna let him go back because what I want is here. Yeah. Right. So if we're too close and he's not moving, that's, I'm gonna create that space for the head. You see so what Blake I... That falls in. Oh, to answer your, your question, um, again, uh, the trust. Okay, so I'm even here. Now, uh, okay, well, that thing here, then that thing here, here, then this, then I go back. I'm pretty much even, but I know I need to, you know, I cannot strike from here. That's 
I need to get me some room to lift my sword and then strike. So when I do this, and when it's coming, then, okay, let's go through the surrender. Hold on, hold on. I gotta relax this wrist, the tip goes down, and then he does the pull away. I want him to feel his head's like a pull ball, and I can still thrust at any moment during this. So this isn't just, I'm giving up. He's supposed to feel this right here. Like this fight is not over yet. Yeah, that's the shield. If I wanna raise them, my tip, if I get too smart, he still has something to fly. But I say a surrender. So I say, okay, fair enough. I step back one, two, he steps back. This is when the cut is over. Okay. All right, let's do the next kata, Eskisue. This is surprisingly easy or short, never easy. Oh, sorry, short. Okay. Subawari. Joy? Eskizue. Eskizue. Sorry. Joy? Hajime. Hey! 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 Um, Sete guys probably know this one uh, very well. Let's demonstrate one more. Subawari, joy. Eskisue, joy. I know. Okay, hey. I have to wait till he's committed to that cut. Because if I do this too early, he's just gonna track me and cut me there. So that's, that's the, hard, the hard part of the simple kata is you gotta wait for a commitment. Boom. And notice when I dragged out a line, I brought my gel with me in this line right here. It's not out here, it's still always between your opponent. Yeah, make sure the tip is in, in between you and the guy. So even when I move, move to here, I drag this so it's always between my opponent and myself. Okay, so. Now I lift and I come down Pretty close to the face. If I can get him to back up just a little bit, throw his balance off just a little bit, boom, and trap the wrist. Choose the wrist. Now he's gonna pull back to try to cut me. And again, I pull back. See, I still got that tension on his face. Now I'm gonna strike for his head. What I'm really doing is putting a little bit of pressure forward to stop that cut. And he's gotta protect his face at this point. So he's gonna keep his arm up there. No. Uh I know I lost this one, okay? The only thing I want to do is disengage. However, I take a little step just to make sure that I'm past the tip of the jaw. I start lowering my sword. The tip has to move to the front and I gotta release that hand and the tip has to go down. And that's when I actually finally surrender. Then he does the put away. And then I walk back, one, two, and now he can walk back. Okay, let's, uh, let's try by the numbers. I have a lot of time, but let's do a few by the numbers. Okay. So we start from the uh, neutral position, okay? Eskisue, joy. Put this thing in front of you. Open your hand, let it slide. Make sure that it doesn't hit the floor too strong, okay? 
All right, then the sword comes. When he's about to cut, you're gonna slide, tip in front of you, well, in between you and the guy. Left knee is bent, right knee is straight, okay? That feet is in an angle, don't do this. 45 degree. Use your stance to get lower. Okay. Then the next motion, imagine that you are drawing a letter D, as in Dallas, or as in Dubai, just the opposite way. So, you get here, and then vertical, through his forehead, his eyes, his neck, and finally his wrist. Okay. Then he's going to go back. When he starts moving back, it's like playing pool, right? Pretend that you're going to play pool, except you're going to change the hand at the back. Okay? And then it's going to be a vertical strike and step. All right. Then he has to surrender, and then we do the put away that we've been doing. Just one, two, change the bottom hem, hands together, feet together, open the chest, he walks away, one, two steps, then you walk away. Again, Eskisue, Joy. Right. right, Hajime, the sword comes. Letter D, big letter D. The last part is vertical, into the wrist. Okay, then he walks back. Remember the, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't let your fingers out, they may be caught. Bring it in. Change the hand to do a hunte strike. And strike first, walk after. Okay, now he surrenders, we do put away one, two, change uh, hand at the bottom, fit together, hand together, relax, open the chest, nice posture, he walks back, one, two, you walk back. Okay, one more time, faster. Eskisue. Joy, Hajime, the sword comes, you go back, okay, big motion, vertical to the wrist, he walks back, and then chin hands, then strike and step, okay, then he surrenders, we do put away one, two, Chain hand, hands together, feet together, relax, open the chest, walk back, one, two, now we go back. All right. Like you were actually using a sword, right? Relax your arms. The tip, it's in front of your right knee. Okay. So that's the starting position. Now as you go to hustle, the tip moves forward. And then still moving forward, you walk under. There you go, beautiful. All right, let's go back. Subawari, Joy. Eskizue, Joy. Sorry, I dream about this all night. So. Um, Hajime. Hey. Wrist, get the wrist, get the wrist. Okay, now, Boken goes back. Strike and walk. Into the wrist again. The target is the, fore, the forehead, as always, but it just happens that the wrist are there, okay? Now, uh, sword guy walks, takes a small step, lower your hands, 
bring the tip to the front nice relax the left wrist the tips lower now put away one two three four feet even okay sword goes back one two joe goes back okay uh, nidia brian please please join the front okay say so Mokso. Mokso yame. Shomen ni. Right? Otagani. Right? Thank you for your hard work. Thank you. 